guys, it's Abby, and as you saw, I'm sure, we are going to be trying to color UV resin with printer ink. And this is printer ink from the dollar store, so this is going to be a fun experiment. Now this is refill ink for Canon, and I just grabbed what they had. We're not going to be using it to print, but hopefully it's going to work for resin. Let's open one up and take a look. Now I've actually had this ink for a while now, but it should be okay. So that is what it looks like. Here is magenta and... Ta -da! I'm also really excited to try and mix these colors and see how many fun colors we can make. So I think the goal for today is to try not to make a mess. Let's start with the cyan. It's like a syringe, okay. Oop, and ink is leaking, okay. First of all, I'm going to put some resin in here. Why don't we just put some in all three because we're gonna make three colors to start off with. Should be good. And I am just going to put a drop in. Let's start with one. Let's give it a mix. Ooh, that's very pigmented. Hmm, does not seem to be mixing very well. Not the color I was expecting. But I guess it kind of works. The real question is, is it going to cure? Oof, again, ink. Pretty sure this is why I was supposed to wear the gloves. Well, if I have yellow nails in the next video, you know why. Okay, this one's looking a little better. Not sure why the blue went so dark. It does kind of seem to have a oil and water reaction at first, where it doesn't want to blend, but after mixing it, it seems to be okay. One drop. And we're mixing. This went super dark too. I think it's because it's so concentrated maybe. Let's go over them with lighter, pop the air bubbles on the surface. And I think we'll just try to cure this as is. I'll give you a closer look in a second, but let's demold these. Seems to have gotten a solid cure, a little sticky on the bottom. Overall, it just seems that the pigment doesn't blend very well. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just looks like there are lots and lots of little dots. I actually was hoping for much better results. I don't know what's in printer ink, but obviously something that does not go well with this UV resin. Anyway, I was going to mix colors with these, but I actually don't think it's worth it. So. Very quickly, as an alternative, I would like to introduce NR Clear Color, which is the pigment I used for resin before Parico came out with their own line, and I absolutely love these. They are vibrant and very pretty. I actually came with orange too, but I couldn't find it. I think it was about $17 for the four bottles, so definitely not Daiso prices, but they last forever and ever. So just to show you guys how they look, I will make some samples. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I really did love these back in the day, and I still do. It's just the Petico bottles are just a lot easier to use because they have the little spout. And I suppose you could put these into similar bottles, but that's just a lot of extra work. Ooh, I forgot how strong they smell. Yeah, that's actually one reason I did stop using them. Very strong smell of thinner, but as you can see, it's an actual cyan color, not navy blue. But then again, this is made for resin. Let's take a dab of yellow. Next, I would say the printer ink is a little more closer to the orange, so maybe I should have tried to look harder for the orange, but you guys get the idea. They're very, very vibrant colors. Finally, the magenta. Oops, got a little too much. Whoa, a lot too much. Okay, I think that's good. Let's mix that in, and I'll go cure this. I am back. Now, shouldn't have any issues with the cure. Very nice. And 
the blend is pretty good too. Ooh, actually the yellow is not that great. A little bit of sogginess going on there. Let me pop that back in the lamp. But the surface is cured, so that means that it wasn't too much pigment. Finally, I thought just for fun we could check out the Padiko or Pajiko colors and see how they compare to the NR color, mainly because I'm curious myself. A dot of blue, yellow, and pink. They're actually a lot less similar than I thought they'd be. I'll be right back. Back again, and here we are. Pop these out. Have a good cure. I did remember to flip the mold over and give it a second curing, so no stickiness, and I think that would have worked for the other pieces, so just saying it's probably not the pigments let's go ahead and line them up so I will say that none of this turned out how I expected I mean I knew what the pedico color looked like but I actually thought it would be a little more closer to the NR color which I thought was how the printer inks would turn out so this has been actually a very interesting experiment did not go at all the way I planned but I think we learned something today that printer ink does not work with resin, and NR color smells very bad, but if you want to mix your own colors, it's very good. But in the end, especially if you're a beginner, Padiko color is probably the best, especially because they have like a bajillion colors now. So yeah, I'll leave that decision up to you, but if you want to see my video on how I colored resin five different ways, please check that out. I'll leave the link down below and up above, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!